So in this video, I'm going to cover a Hoogle Culture bed that I built. Uh, this was in a raised bed, obviously, in a boxed-in raised bed. I did it for my parents. I think they were out of town, and I was watching their house, and, you know, they said go for it. So I did. This one was kind of abandoned, an abandoned box. So I dug down the trench uh, as far as I could because it was lined with some uh, wire mesh. Uh, just to keep the gophers out, so I dug down as far as I could, which was only, you know, maybe a foot or so, or a little more, and grabbed some firewood. There was a bunch of firewood laying around, and tried to grab the oldest stuff I could find. You can see that there's, uh, you know, a little bit of moss growing on it. It's I kind of picked out the older stuff. You can see the the uh, breakdown starting the fungus right there and the fungus right there that's the kind of the stuff you want to look for is you know older and breaking down or, or already on the way to breaking down and you can see I packed them in uh, kind of fit them like a jigsaw as tight as I could so that it won't shift over time or it'll shift less over time and uh, you know it'll hold it at the max it maximizes how much water it'll hold but when you get these logs right next to each other and I tried to grab the biggest logs that I could find too so those are all things to keep in mind um, next I and the soil is over here that I dug out so next I uh, sprinkled a little bit of soil on this layer just to get the get the break down get the good microbes in there uh, as soon as possible and when you're doing that, you don't just clump it down with a big shovel load. You kind of sprinkle it off of your shovel. And so that's one tip. And then this is the same thing. I think it's the opposite side or something. Um, so there, I found a lot of uh, success with these little uh, fruit tree branches. Um, sometimes they uh, bud out a little bit, but... Um, Usually if you get enough soil on top, they're not going to bud out and they're going to break down and die and uh, feed the hugo culture for uh, for a long time. Um, and that's why I use the biggest logs too, because it'll last longer and it'll uh, provide nutrients for the garden above it. Uh, for this, you know, with these size uh, logs, probably, I don't know, it might last maybe 12 years or something. This was a couple years ago. And stay tuned till the end, and I'll tell you a very important lesson I learned about this um, regarding communication. Okay, so that was... Let this load. This is on Google Slides. I'm oh, being a little slow. Anyway, so I um, had some old um, horse hay laying around. Um, yeah, there's going to be seeds in it, and it might pop up but and uh, you know it might sprout a little bit but that's not a big deal i always like using the weeds anyway in other parts of the uh you know i use it to mulch and i use it i'm um, in other parts of the garden so i never mind weeds but uh you might want to keep to straw or something um, whatever you have laying around really um, and then after this layer i sprinkled in some more um more of the soil just to get it packed in and you can also if you have leaves laying around you can uh, you know crumple up leaves into small pieces and then get them into the, all the little nooks and crannies in there uh, that's another popular thing that people do and you just want to um, you know just just get it get all those air pockets filled um, and then I had you know I just pulled weeds around the area Plenty of weeds around. Um, you can let them break down for like a week if you want to. You can, uh, you know, if you have a good compost pile, you can be adding compost, a little bit of compost at all these layers just to add the microbes, add the fungi into your Hugo culture mound and get everything activated, get everything breaking down. Um, so, yep, that's all I wanted to say about that one. And then getting to the top, uh, I think I did leaves towards the top, and more weeds. I think these were some old, yeah, some old weeds, old leaves. Um, and also you can see, like on the lower part, and and here too, um, when you are planting 
a garden on top. Uh, you know, there's plenty of, um, it's almost like this lattice for the roots to grow in as they grow down. So it's gonna, um, you know, provide structure, provide support for the roots, for your, uh, for your veggies as they grow, as they go down too. So that's another, uh, another benefit of these types of mounds. And then I just kind of heap the soil on top. Jesus, like 1995 images <laughs> on the internet. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much it um, finished. I didn't really get it uh, too high. You know, I didn't have too, well, I could have made it really high, but um, I just wanted to do a very minimal one. Uh, very low just to test it out. It's kind of the first one that I did for the parents here and uh, The tip that I wanted to share is that um, They really like to turn things over and I didn't fully explain to them. This was like uh, This was probably gosh, I don't know five or six years ago And I didn't fully explain to them what I was doing and the technique and all that stuff so uh, my dad actually dug it up and uh, took and tore it all apart. <laughs> Unfortunately, um, it was starting to grow really well. Um, but uh, yeah, for whatever reason, I just didn't uh, communicate. That was totally my fault. Um, on um, just to leave it alone and just to keep planting into it, because it's as the wood's breaking down, it's turn. It's kind of turning and aerating everything. It's uh, naturally. So it's, there's no need to um, turn this. There's no need to uh, till into it. Um, and uh, yeah, he just, I don't know, I guess he just saw the, the wood and was like, just took it apart. He was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> and uh, you know, not his fault. I didn't, uh, so that's a very important lesson when you're doing this for other people or when you're doing any, of, any garden projects for other people, um, you know, communicate with them, plan it out with them of course, um, and just explain to them exactly your theory behind it, your uh, the process behind it, um, what to do, how to take care of it. So just explain everything to them. I think I, think I did this and then I did a few others somewhere else and I, I kind of forgot about this one, but um, this is one of the few where I took really good pictures <laughs> of it. <laughs> so, um, so now I get to, you know, show them. Um, so this would have been a really good, um, it would have been a really good box. And actually it's, uh, even as they took it out and then I think they took out the wood and then just put the soil back in and, uh, it's still, uh, a pretty healthy box, uh, for whatever they plant in there. So it kind of started the cycle with all the wood breaking down and the beneficial fungi and all that. And, um, so yeah, very important communication. Um, talk through your plans and yeah I think that's it for this and there's gonna be uh, I'll do a few more uh, build videos uh, within this course uh, this is a full Hugo culture course uh, that I, I think I called it obsessed with Hugo culture so check out the whole thing there'll be I think in the top right I'll have the uh, the link to the whole playlist and please subscribe, like, uh, share this around social media, share this around with one other gardener, two other gardeners, um, just to show the technique because uh, it holds water, it, it provides nutrients to the, to the garden up that you plant right on top of it as soon as you're done with it. And it, uh, and it lasts a long time and it's very effective. Um, and it also, like all of that, um, wood waste and all the weeds and all those leaves, they would have just been, you know, they would have either turned to dust or been in a burn pile or they would have gone in the green waste. So it's better just to upcycle, recycle all of the uh, green stuff that you have and uh, just make it into this one mound and you'll be shocked at uh, how how much waste it'll take or suppose, supposed uh, green waste. Um, and it just turns into, uh, you know, just turn it into the base of a garden and uh, so many benefits. Um, so that's it for this one. All right, thank you very much.